so far we proved two big theorems the first one is the results of phi of n when n is a prime number the second one was phi of p to the a so powers of prime case this theorem we're talking about phi of m times n and at this moment m n doesn't need to be prime numbers but they should be relative prime then the result is simply just the phi of m times phi of n so i just suggest to read the proof okay and follow each arguments but let me just explain uh, briefly here definitely to check phi of m times n we are only looking for the integers from n through m times n so let's arrange those integers like this 1 to 3 up to m and m plus 1 through 2m so far that much right so let's just look at this case m could be any integer it could be prime or composite but so in this set 1 through m let's say r could it be relative prime with m or not right so first let's say r is not relative prime with m then look at this this one cannot be relative prime with mn can you see that because m that if r is not relative prime with m which means there is common divisor for r and m right which is not one so let's say that is d then d is also divisor of that number right because d is a uh, divisor for r and m right so it's a common divisor of that so that d could also divide this one right and d is also divisor of m times n right because m is a multiple of d or d is a divisor of m right so d is a common divisor of this number and that number for the same reason d is a divisor of that and that so if you find any integer between 1 and m which is not relative prime with m then all the integers in that row cannot be the relative prime with m times n so we cannot count these integers when we calculate phi of m times n because we are looking for the integers which is relative prime with m times n right so we have to reduce any row starting with certain number which is not relative prime with m right so all we need is just how many integers are relative prime with m in this first case and that is phi of m right so we have then many rows here okay, which is relative primes then look at just that case then we can argue with the same way like if you find any number which is not rel relative with n then let's say this one then all these integers in that column is not relative prime with n again right so how many columns are survived is exactly same as that so all together there are only phi of m rows survived in here and phi of n columns survived and any survived integer by that is going to be relative prime with m times n so all together there are this many integers in this integers it's going to be relative prime with m times n and that's going to be the proof of this whole theorem so please try to read and follow the arguments they are going to get the same results